Hello, my name is Jiso and I'm reading Master Dogen Shobogenzo. And we are up to chapter 77, Koku, space. Ko means vacant or void, and ku means air, space or emptiness. So koku means space. Space and time have been fundamental concepts in philosophy since ancient times and in science too. Even in ancient India, people frequently discuss the nature of space and time. And this tradition influenced Buddhism. So the nature of space and time became a very important subject in Buddhism in India. The topic also passed to Buddhism in China. And so there are many stories of Chinese Buddhist masters discussing space and time. In this chapter, Master Dogen discusses space. He first quotes a discussion about space between Master Shakyo Izo and Master Saido Chizo. Then he gives his own explanation, quoting a poem by Master Tendo Nayojo, a discussion between Master Vaso Do Itsu and a monk called Saizen Ryo, and the words of Master Vasumitra. Because this place is where something ineffable exists, which is a quote from a conversation between Masters Rinzai and Fuke. It is because this place is where something ineffable exists, it is through the realization of these words that Buddhist patriarchs are caused to be. And because the realization of these words of Buddhist patriarchs passes naturally from rightful successor to rightful successor, the skin, flesh, bones and marrow, realized as a whole body, are hanging in space. This space is beyond such categories as the 20 kinds of space. There are 20 kinds of space, 20 kinds of emptiness. Oh, blimey. There's a list. Inner space, external space, the space inside and outside, space as space, universal space, etc. Okay. Brush over that. In general, how could space be limited to only 20 kinds of space? There are 84,000 kinds of space, and there may be countless more besides. Zen master Shakyo Ezo of Bashu asks Zen master Saido Chizo, do you understand how to grasp space? Saido says, I understand how to grasp it. The master says, how do you grasp it? Saido clutches at space with his hand. The master says, you do not understand how to grasp space. Saido says, how do you grasp it, brother? The master grabs Saido's nostrils and pulls them. Groaning with pain, Saido says, it is very brutal to yank a person's nostrils, but I have directly been able to get free. The master says, Directly grabbing hold like this, you should have got it from the beginning. Shakyo's words, do you understand how to grasp space, ask, are you too the thoroughly realised body as hands and eyes? Saido says, I understand how to grasp it. Space is one unadulterated mass, which once touched is then tainted. Since being tainted, space has fallen to the ground. Shakyo's words, how do you grasp it, mean, if, even if you call it as it is, you have changed it already. And although it is like this, in changing with it, the thus gone exists. Wow, this is tricky stuff. The thus gone or reality passing in this compound can be understood as an adverb, thus or as a noun, reality. Either way, expresses momentary reality. Okay, the thus gone, momentary reality. Saido clutches at space with his hand. This is merely understanding of how to ride a tiger's head. It is not yet understanding of how to grab the tiger's tail. Shakyo says, you do not understand how to grasp space. Not only has Saido failed to understand how to grasp it, he has never realized space even in a dream. And although he is like this, Shakyo does not want to describe for him that which is profound and eternal. Saido's words, Saido, 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 
Let's go for Sado. Sado's words, how do you grasp it, brother, mean say a word or half yourself, venerable elder. Do not rely so totally on me. Shakyo grasps, grabs Sado's nostrils and pulls them. Now let us learn in practice that Shakyo has put his body into Sado's nostrils. From the other side, realisation is present of the words that nostrils pull in Shakyo. Nostrils pull in Shakyo. And although it is like this, space is a unity and it is jostling. Space is a unity and it is jostling. That's wonderful. Sido groans with pain and says, it is very brutal to yank a person's nostrils, but I have directly been able to get free. Previously, he thought about meeting another, but suddenly he has been able to meet himself. At the same time, to taint the self is not permissible. The self must be practised. Quote from Master Nangaku, Ijo's famous words, Practice and experience is not non-existent, but to taint it is not permissible. The self must be practised. That's good, isn't it? Shakyo says, Directly grabbing hold like this, you should have got it from the beginning. I do not deny that grabbing hold by the state like this has got it from the beginning, However, because there is neither grasping in which Shakyo and Shakyo each extend a hand together, nor grasping in which space and space each extend a hand together, Shakyo is not yet relying upon his own exertion. In general, the universe has no gaps to accommodate space. But this particular story has been resounding through space like thunder. Since the time of Shakyo and Saido, Though the practitioners who have been called themselves masters of the five sects are many, those who have seen, heard or fathomed space are few. Before and after Shakyo and Saido, several individuals have, ins have aspired to play with space, but few have put their hands on it. Shakyo has attained some grasp of space. Saido does not glimpse space. Daibutsu would like to tell Shakyo the following. Daibutsu is Master Dogen. Okay, see note 33. Before, when you grabbed Sado's nostrils, if you wanted to grasp space, you should have grabbed the nostrils yourself, Shaku, and you should have understood how to grasp the fingertips with the fingertips. Even so, Shaku does know a bit about the dignified behaviour of grasping space. Even a good player at grasping space needs to research the interior and exterior of space, needs to research the deadening and vitalization of space, and needs to know the lightness and weight of space. We should maintain and rely upon the teaching that the effort in pursuit of the truth, the establishment of the mind, the practice and experience, and the assertions and questions of Buddhas and of patriarchs are just the grasping of space. My late master, Tendo Nyojo, the eternal Buddha, says, the whole body like a mouth hanging in space. Clearly, the whole body of space is suspended in space. Or the whole body as space, says in the footnote. Archpriest Ryo of Seizen Mountain in Koshu once goes to practice in Basso's order. The pat patriarch Basso asks him, what sutra do you lecture on? The Master says, the Heart Sutra. The Patriarch says, with what do you lecture? The Master says, I lecture with mind. Footnote, Shingyo means the mind or the heart. The Patriarch says, they say mind is like a leading actor, the will is like a supporting actor, and the six kinds of consciousness are the accompanying cast. How are these able to lecture on the Sutra? The Master says, if mind is unable to give the lecture, space is hardly able to give the lecture, is it? The patriarch says, space itself is indeed able to give the lecture. The master swings his sleeves and retires. Swinging your sleeves is a gesture of mild contempt. Used by an old woman who wouldn't sell her rice cakes to Master Tokuzan. I remember that. 
from chapter 18. Gosh. The patriarch calls to him, Archpriest. The master turns his head. The patriarch says, from birth to old age, it's just like this. It is just this. Sorry, not like this. It is just this. At this, the master gains insight. Eventually, he conceals himself on Sezen Mountain and nothing more is heard of him. That's because I was reading the wrong footnote. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Thus, every Buddhist patriarch is a sutra lecturer, and sutra lecturing is inevitably in space. Without space, it is impossible to lecture on even a single sutra. Whether lectures are delivered on the mind as a sutra or delivered on the body as a sutra, they are always delivered through the medium of space. I can't argue with that. Thinking is realised and not thinking is realised through the medium of space. The development of tutored wisdom and the development of untutored wisdom, the development of innate intelligence and the development of learned intelligence, each is in space. The act of becoming a Buddha and the act of becoming a patriarch likewise must be in space. The seventh patriarch, the venerable Vasumitra, so born in the end of the first century AD in Gandhara, Gandhara in northern India, became the successor of the sixth patriarch in India, Master Mishaka. Legend says that in his youth, before becoming the disciple of Mr. Master Mishaka, Master Vasumitra would wander aimlessly around the town drinking from a flask of liquor. The seventh patriarch, the venerable Vasumitra, says... The mind is the same as the concrete world of space, and it reveals the reality that is coterminous with space. When we are able to experience space, there is no right and nothing wrong. Um, the mind here, shin, here means not mind in general, but Buddha mind, the mind in the balanced state of action. There is no right and nothing wrong. The mutual encounter and mutual realisation in the moment of the present between a person facing a wall and the wall facing a person, the mind as fences and walls and the mind as a withered tree, those are just the concrete world of space. To those who can be saved by this body, Buddhas manifest at once this body and preach for them the Dharma. This is to reveal the reality that is coterminous with space. To those who can be saved by another body, Buddhas manifest at once another body and preach for them the Dharma. This is to reveal the reality which is coterminous with space. Being used by the 12 hours and being in control of the 12 hours are both the time when we are able to experience space. A big stone being big and a small stone being small is no right and nothing wrong. We solely investigate for the present as the right Dharma eye treasury and the fine mind of Nirvana space like this. Shobogenzo Koku preached to the assembly at Daibutsuji Temple on Etsu on the sixth day of the third lunar month in the third year of Kangen, 1245. Uh, Daibutsuji, literally the temple of the great Buddha. This was the first chapter of Shobogenzo preached at Daibuts Daibutsuji, which Master Dogen founded in 1244. In 1246, he changed the name of the temple to a Heiji, Temple of Eternal Peace. Hmm. Thanks for listening. Do take care.